area of an isosceles, ooh, an isosceles triangle. Okay, we have two sides that are 10 and one side that is 12. We need to find the area of the triangle. Hmm. Now, this is where that altitude stuff comes in. We're going to actually draw an altitude down because that is our height. So that altitude is our height. Remember, we have to do one half the base times the height to find the area. Okay, our base in this one. Since we drew the height down this way, that means 12 is our base. So I'm going to put a 12 in here. We don't know our height right now, but we do know something. We have an isosceles triangle. And when we drop that altitude down, it splits this 12 into two parts of 6. So that's 6 and that's 6 to make a base of 12. Now I can use the Pythagorean theorem using this right triangle to find the height. Okay, so I'm missing one of the legs. So I'm going to call 6a, the unknown height is b, and c is 10. So now I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find this altitude. So you can even redraw this on the outside if it helps. This is 6, this is 10, and this is our unknown b. So a squared is 6, plus b squared is our unknown, equals c squared, which is 10. So 36 plus b squared equals 100. b squared, subtract 36 from both sides, is 64. So b is 8. That means our altitude, or our height, is 8. So now I can go up here and plug in 8 for my height. So eight, uh, 12 times 8 is 96. And half of 96 is what? 48. So that's going to be 48 square units for the area of that isosceles triangle. Okay, so there's...